What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be playing with a ton of new products that have recently come out in Sephora and Ulta. I'm very, very excited. I think I have pretty much a full face here. I say that in every single video and then I'm like, oh, I don't have this or this or this. But I think, I think we have a good amount to get us through this entire video. I'm really excited. I love this time of year. It's spring, kind of transitioning into summer when a lot of brands come out with new collections. They have a lot of new launches. There's always a ton of new good stuff out for the new season. So without further ado, if you are interested in seeing me play with all of this new makeup, then let's get into it. So I do have a new eyeshadow palette to try out. Um, this is the Voyager palette from NARS and I have mine in the copper shade. This is what it looks like here. So I think I'm going to start with my eyes actually today. So to give these shadows kind of a fair shot, I'm going in with my P. Louise base. This palette right here has six shades. It has three shimmers at the bottom and then three mattes on top. And although this is a really compact, like, I mean, it's a tiny little eyeshadow palette, I think that I'm definitely going to be able to get a full look out of here because I have some nice transition colors, something to deepen up the crease, and then some nice like highlight and lid shades. So I'm actually really excited to play with this guy. NARS does make really, really great shadows, but I have never tried one of their mattes. I've only tried their like metallic-y kind of sparkly shadows. So I'm going to take this center shade right here, this kind of like mid-tone brown that's definitely a lot warmer. And I'm just gonna start applying this in my crease and a little bit above and just kind of buff this out a little bit. This is gonna be like our mid transition shade. These are pretty pigmented and they blend really nicely. I like this so far. So now going on a smaller buffing brush, I'm going to take this kind of chocolatey brown color and I'm just going to focus this in the outer V and like halfway in the crease just to give us a little bit more definition. Just gonna buff that out now with the brush that I put that first color down with. No additional product though. I do find this P. Louise base sometimes makes shadows really difficult to blend, but what I really like about it is that it really makes your shadows pop and really pigmented, and my eyes never crease. Like my eyeshadow never ever creases, so you do have to put a little bit extra effort into blending shadows out, um, but these honestly, are still blending really nicely, despite the, the tricky base. All right, so now taking this lightest matte shade, I'm going to take this above that orangey shade that we used and just blend it all out and make sure everything's really nice and diffused, no harsh lines. This is like the perfect transition shade. This just goes to show that like you don't need 18 eyeshadows to get a makeup look done. Like this only has six and I'm feeling pretty confident in what I can do with it. So now I'm just gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm actually going to go into this gold color here, which I was originally gonna use as a highlight, but I have an actual highlighter that I'll just use instead. And I just wanna see It's pretty. I'm gonna try my finger. It's just a really pretty gold color. I do think that these metallic shadows apply a lot better using like your finger though, or a little bit of Fix Plus glitter glue. But that's most metallic shadows, like a lot of a lot of shimmery shadows need something to kind of adhere to. All right, so that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. Like I said, I'm doing a super, super simple look today. I just kind of wanted to play with these and test them out and see how they performed. And so far, I'm really, really impressed with them. I do love them a lot. I'm going to apply some liquid liner and lashes, and then I will be back and we will start on our base. 
Alrighty, so I went ahead and applied my eyeliner off camera and I actually went in with a gold liner. I just thought it was something different and we're doing something kind of bronze. I thought it might spice up the look a little bit. I use the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liner in Space Cowboy. So it's like a creamy gold kind of shade. So before I apply my false lashes, I do have a mascara to test out really quickly. Um, this is the, what is this? This is the Lancome Monsieur Big, Mr. Big Mascara. Um, I've heard so many good things about this, so I really wanted to give it a go. And I actually did not purchase this. This was sent to me, but I was going to buy it myself anyways because I, like I said, I've heard so many good things about it. So one side I'm gonna do without curling, just out of curiosity, because I don't typically curl my lashes. And then the other side, if we need it, we'll go in with an eyelash curl and give them a little bit of a boost. So the wand is big but manageable. It's not as big as Too Faced Better Than Sex and I I don't know how I feel about this. It's very much like a spidery mascara. If you know what I mean, like it kind of makes your lashes like very like separated and spidery. When I typically like like Too Faced Better Than Sex or my Kush mascara from Milk Makeup, that's a little bit more like volumizing. This isn't really doing a ton for me. <laughs> um, so I don't really know about this guy. I'm gonna keep playing with it. I just was expecting so much because people have been hyping it up nonstop, but we'll, we'll have to see. This is kind of like an eh maybe for me at this point, not living, breathing, dying for it yet. Before we prime and do our foundation and stuff, um, I did not pick up a concealer for this full look, but I do have this Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer, and I've always been really curious about this and wanted to test it out, so I figured today was the perfect opportunity. Although this isn't like a super new product, this has been out for a really long time, I still think it's very interesting. So like I said, this is the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer, and it says that it's a wake-up call for tired eyes. It instantly energizes and rejuvenates for a bright-eyed awakened effect. And basically, gently massage this priming balm under the eye area to eliminate the appearance of eye baggage and reduce puffiness. So this is what it looks like. It's like turquoise. The Becca packaging of these reminds me of like the KKW packaging, that like clear. I love it. I think it looks so cool. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a balm I guess. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and I'm actually taking my ring finger. I like to apply products with my finger under my eye using my ring finger because that's the least amount of pressure. You don't want to be tugging on that gentle skin. So I think I've warmed it up enough and I'm just going to tap this under my under eyes. Is anything happening? <laughs> Can we tell? Is so this is with the primer and this is without it. I mean, it does look kind of smooth to me. Like, I don't know. I don't really suffer from really bad eye puffiness, but if you do, you might be interested in testing this guy out. If anything, this has like a poor blurring effect to me. Like it's filling in any like fine lines or creases or like wrinkles that I may have. And it's kind of blurring everything out. Like this is like a blurring primer for under your eyes. It's kind of cool. It does feel a little bit like greasy-ish. So I would be very careful with that. So the second primer I want to apply is this new Hello Fab primer from First Aid Beauty. Wait, this is tingling. It's like cold. That's weird. This is tingling. That's bizarre. Anyways, so this is the Hello Fab Pores Be Gone Matte Primer, and this is oil-free, safe for sensitive skin, and it's with Fig Extract from First Aid Beauty. I've never tried anything from First Aid Beauty. This was under the new arrivals in the Sephora section, so I'm very excited to test this guy out. This is what it looks like, and you actually get 1.7 fluid ounces, so this is a big primer. So I'm just going to take that's way too much. Don't take that much, but it came out really quickly. It smells like Clinique products. So I'm really just like a fake cucumbery scent. I'm really just focusing this in my T-zone first and then 
going to drag it out on the rest of my face because it said you are supposed to apply this to your whole face. Uh, I don't know how matte I look. I feel like I'm like shinier. It is pore filling though because it is a silicone-y texture. It feels like a silicone primer mixed with like a moisturizer. So it feels kind of cool, but I just don't know how mattifying this guy is going to... Oh, it's like balling up the more I rub it in. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, yeah, it's kind of balling up. Hmm. So for foundation, I have the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I've heard so many good things about this and I've always been a little bit nervous to try it because I'm, I'm pretty much a matte foundation kind of gal. I do like a matte finish, but lately I've been experimenting with more like natural or satiny matte finishes so I thought that this was a good time to test this out because my taste is expanding and I won't be biased I do like more natural finish foundations now so like always I bought two colors I have one that's medium 3.5 and then I have light 4 I always buy a lighter and a darker foundation so that way I can mix them together and kind of customize the color to my self tan at that time um, so this is what it looks like. This one is going to be a little bit dark for me, but this would be my color if I'm like freshly self-tanned. And then I have light four, which actually might be perfect for me. We might not need to mix. So really unique. This says it has skin recognition pigments for the truest color match. And it's up to 16 hours of wear. Um, you do get one fluid ounce with this, which is pretty much your standard foundation. I've never tried a NARS foundation, so I'm really, really excited. Does it say brush or beauty blender? Apply a small amount starting in the center of the face and blend outwards. I never do that. I just dab it all over my face and then go from there. So I'm gonna start with three pumps because these are like baby pumps. Like this is three pumps of foundation right there, okay? And I'm just going to start over here and start blending this in doesn't really have a fragrance. This color is a little bit light for me, but that's okay. We can go in in bronze. This does look to be like nice and full coverage. I'm getting good coverage and I'm able to take those three pumps kind of over to the other side of my face, but I am going to need a little bit more because I do have some discoloration and scarring and stuff that I need to cover there. Um, so going in with two more pumps, I feel like I'm using a lot because I'm saying like two to three pumps for one side of my face, but these are like baby pumps. It's not like a huge glopping pump, so I don't feel that bad. And I feel like I'm using a lot of product, but I know I'm really not. So that covered everything really nicely right there. That's kind of my problem area on my cheeks is where I suffer from some like acne scarring and some damage. I look so washed out right now. This definitely is like a dewy-er, like more natural finish than I would normally go for but I like it, it's really pretty. So now I'm just gonna quickly set my face. I'm just using my Cody Airspun powder and I'm just going to tap this under my eyes, like half baking is what I call it. Um, just using my damp sponge. All right, we need to get some bronzer on our skin because we are looking hella ghostly with just like eyebrows on and stuff. So for bronzer, I have the new Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker bronzer and I have mine in the shade Island Ting. <laughs> Um, so as always, Fenty Beauty packaging is a complete 10 out of 10. It's so cute. I love it. I mean, like, look at this. It's beautiful. Like this gorgeous gold. Mm, so good. So this is the shade that I have. It is a little bit more terracotta, 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 terracotta. What the? more terracotta. It is a more red toned. I'm taking that on a very dirty M530 brush. This is one of my favorite for bronzer. And I'm just going to do a tiny, tiny amount of this. Oh, she's pigmented. Mm, mm, this color is great. Ooh, I like this a lot. And I'm actually taking a little bit of this on my cheeks as well to just warm up the face all around because this foundation was too light for me. 
for sure. This is blending so well. And I love this color. This is a great bronzer shade. Like I said, I'm going in with a pretty light hand. So I think that I'm still going to be able to use this even when I am self-tanned and a little bit darker. So before I go ahead and finish up my eyes, I do want to apply some blush. I do have these two new Cover FX um, monochromatic blush duos. So the way these work is one side is a matte, one is a shade. I'll just open it and show you. So I have Warm Honey right here. This is what it looks like. It's like a rosy color. I honestly thought this one was going to be a little bit more peachy toned. And then this is Spiced Cinnamon. And this is definitely too dark for today. For some reason, I thought these were going to be like more peachy, orangey tone based. That's the way they looked online to me. Um, but these look really, really beautiful. Again, you have a matte and then a shimmer. You can use this as a highlight or you can use it as a blush topper. And I love the new packaging of these. They're magnetic actually, and they just are really, really sleek and I love it. I'm gonna go in with Warm Honey just because I think it's going to suit this look and my skin tone the best. I'm gonna just take the matte side first. I'm just curious how pigmented these are. Okay, they're really pigmented. <laughs> oh my God, shoot. I'll just be here blending. So be warned, these are really pigmented. Um, I am gonna take a little bit of the shimmer on top because you know, I'm not wearing enough blush already, but I do really like brushes, brushes, blushes with a nice sheen in them. Oh my God. This is just too much. Oh, I don't know what to do to save this. So these are very, very pigmented. So be careful, use a very light hand, but I do really like them. I think that they look really nice. And I love that you have the option of a blush topper or a highlight. If you do have a deeper skin tone, you can use these multiple ways. I'm into these, I really like these, I recommend them. All right, you guys, we are in the home stretch. All we have left is our highlight application and then our lips. So for highlight, I have the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess in Heat Wave. So everybody used to be obsessed with this before highlighters were like a thing. Everybody used to love this and it just recently came back out, so. I think they brought it back like limited edition packaging or something like that last year and now it's out again in different packaging yet again. Um, but like look at this, it's so beautiful. So the box is kind of like this tortoise shelly color and it's actually the same in the middle here. I don't know if you can tell, my lights are really annoying. Um, but it has that same tortoise pattern and it's just a rose gold compact. It's really, really pretty summery like luxurious packaging. So when you pop this guy open, this is what it looks like. I have to point it down because again, my studio lights are so bright, but it has this like gorgeous pattern in it and it is a mix between like a rose gold pinky highlight and then a actual gold highlight. So I'm really, really excited to test this bad boy out. And I'm just gonna take that on an Anastasia, my A23 brush. I've been going back to this. I've like re-fallen in love with it. Such a pretty highlight. It's not chunky or glittery at all. Ooh. This is amazing. I am so into this. Now I know why everybody was so obsessed with this. This is like the prettiest summer highlight. It's like, I have hairs on my face. Why did no one tell me? It's like a very natural, but extra highlight. I don't know how to explain this. Like. This is really not like an obnoxious highlight, but it does give you like a really, really pretty glow. And the powder is not like super soft. I'm just gonna say that like off the bat. So I didn't think it was gonna be really nice, but this is what it's like on my finger and I will swatch it for you guys. That's it right there. Ooh, she's reflective. And then blend it out. Oh yeah. 
that's beautiful. This is a stunning highlight. I really, really like this a lot. I think this was like 50 bucks, which is absurd for a highlight, but it's the packaging. It's like the whole nine, all that kind of stuff. So you are paying for like the experience as well. So last but not least, we need to wrap this up. I've been sitting here talking forever. I do have a new lip product to test out and this isn't like new, new at Sephora, but it's new for me. I am kind of dipping my toe into the brand that is Charlotte Tilbury. And so I have the Kissing Hot Lips lipstick in Kim KW. So I've heard lots of good things about her lipsticks. This, I thought it was the matte one, but it's not. This is like the hot lips. So I think it's more like a creamy formula, but this is the color. It's just a really nice pinky nude. This reminds me of like a MAC cream sheen formula. Let me get a lip liner. I'm taking MAC strip down and I'm just going to line my lips with this. All right, now going in with Kim KW. I don't love this color. It's a little bit too light for me and too like peachy pinky. I just, and I think it makes my teeth look yellow and it's not very opaque. Like some of my lip is showing through. I don't know. I definitely am more of a matte lipstick kind of gal or if I'm going for something like shiny I will throw on a gloss I'm not really a cream sheen kind of lip it doesn't last on me and I'm just not a huge fan of this color I think maybe I would like one of her matte lipsticks a little bit better so I want to give that a try but I just this isn't like wowing me like I expected it to and Charlotte Chilberry is not the cheapest so I think I might stick to my MAC lipsticks all right, you guys, that is going to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed this week's Test It Out Tuesday and watching me play with all of this new makeup at Sephora and Ulta. I did get some of this through the Sephora VIB sale and Ulta just always is, oh, I love Ulta so much. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I hate asking, I feel so obnoxious, but it really, really does help me out in this crazy YouTube world. And as always, if you have any requests for a Test It Out Tuesday, whether it's a specific product or a brand that you would like me to give a go on camera for you guys, feel free to drop me a comment down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.